but I will have inserted footage already of um, me swimming, me swimming in the water, just under 16k in the bag, which is it's good because 16k was actually on the training plan today, so to be honest, I looked quite good, like I'm actually impressed, Danny. I'm impressed, Danny. Oh, he's got a sick girl in the water. Just finished, it's half nine. I haven't had any dinner yet, guys. I'm going to go find some place for dinner. Good morning, Nice. We are in Nice uh, for the High Rocks World Championships this morning. Um, for me, this is just a Ironman training camp. I'm going to be here just training. Danny's here competing on Saturday. Um, but yeah, what a gorgeous place to be. I'm out this morning on a 16 kilometer run. I am seven and a half K in. Um, feeling good, heart rate's a bit high just because of the heat, but feeling good. Um, I'm going to actually meet Danny at about 11K because we're doing like um, a high rock shakeout run. So meeting him for the last 5K, which I find so enjoyable when you're doing long runs because it means you've got something to look forward to. Oh my God, I'm up, going up a hill. Um, but yeah, I will check in with you guys when I'm with Danny. All right guys, I've done my 10K and I'm now just joining Danny in this High Rocks shakeout run. Um, there's a big run club of us. Um, but yeah, then just under 16K in the bag, which is good because 16K was actually on the training plan today. So, El Complete. Make up in the morning, you got dresses in your closet But you grab them tight, you in love with being modest You a more body giving sin fuels I'm just saying I'm a mule But you ain't even flexing And you cool, tat it up, cover rooms, different vibe you know ain't proof But you ain't even flexing We are just heading for some breakfast now 15 and a bit K in the bag, which is great Because I had a 16K run on the cards this morning um, so 15 and a bit ticked off is solid, actually. Um, so yeah, Danny smashed the 5k. Yeah, buddy. We've just finished well, it down. It well. Yeah. Your back but is sweaty. So sweaty. I'm yes. so sweaty. <laughs> um, but we're gonna go have some breakfast now. It's half past nine. Um, I did eat a banana before that, but that's it. And I took nothing out with me, and that was a bit stupid of me in this heat. Um, but to be honest, I actually feel great. We did eat a lot last. Well, we ate quite late last night, and I was so full when I woke up this morning. So didn't actually need anything when I woke up but yeah we're gonna go get some good scran um Danny said he knows some good breakfast spots here in Nice whoa 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 so we're gonna go not like a Nice connoisseur but I just <laughs> um and then yeah we're gonna take you on our day then we're gonna head back to the hotel after checking in at High Rocks Danny's gonna go get his bib number and then we're gonna go back to the hotel and I'm gonna go get my wetsuit and we're gonna go down to the beach for a bit which is gonna be exciting I'm gonna go for my first open water swim guys that's so fun. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to go along with the day. Got some work to do later this afternoon. Um, but just nice to be in Nice, you know? You know? Nice to be in Nice. It is nice to be in Nice. Right, let's go find a nice breakfast spot because this girl needs a coffee. <laughs> Danny has found us a nice restaurant, haven't you? Well done. What are you going to get? I'm going to get the of, English. <laughs> I'm thinking of getting scrambled eggs, maybe. With um, uh, I'm going to have to get a pastry last in France, aren't I? It's kind of beautiful, yeah. and I'm literally dressed like this. I'm all dressed up. Yeah. Why? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Well, the sun is shining, but guys, we've just grabbed a coffee on our way. We're just walking to the High Rocks. Um, where we, what's it called again? The High Rocks. Um, what am I trying to say? Uh, convention. The High Rocks Convention. Yeah, yeah. We're going to go check in Danny and get his, like, check in for his big number, etc. We just grabbed a coffee on the way because the breakfast place we were at didn't do any, like, plant based milks. So we just grabbed an almond milk flat white on the way. Cool place. Mm very cool coffee shop it's very um it was very um swedish wasn't it very scandinavian sorry very scandinavian vibes in there you know, it, almost like it was, was great like, but in like a cave in like italy yeah it felt like being in copenhagen but in nice that's what it is scandinavian scandinavian um, but very good coffee would rate very 10 out of 10 good. called cafe cafe fino in nice um mm. anyway we've got a 20 minute walk 
um, but we are on route. On the route? Yes. Guys, we're in the stadium. We're fucking in, man, we're in. Danny's checked in, show us a t shirt. Representing England. <laughs> Guys, we're in the taxi back to the hotel. Um, we've been to check in Danny. Danny, show me a t shirt. I think I've already showed the vloggy t shirt actually. to the hotel um, to get changed and we're gonna head back out aren't we yeah um, because I'm gonna go do a, a little swim and then we're gonna go find somewhere for lunch as well um, and then come back freshen up and go and watch the elite 15 which is exciting um my camera's still you watch camera huh you watch camera yeah Looks quite dark though. But anyway, I'm gonna go get my wetsuit and we're gonna go in the ocean for a little bit before getting some lunch and then seeing what the rest of the day entails for us. Let's go. Let's go. Let's fucking Also, go. very aware that you don't normally wear a wet uh, a bikini under a wetsuit when you're training for an Ironman, but I'm on holiday. I'm on me holiday, so I'm gonna wear a bikini underneath my wetsuit. <laughs> Hello, my friends. Um, we're just heading back out to the beach. I'm going to do my first open water um, swim. Um, it's probably gonna be a max 500 meters <laughs> because I'm so, one, I'm so nervous, and two, I'm with Danny. Danny can't swim, so he can't come and save me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, cheers, well, um, proper out in me. <laughs> and three, I've never ever swam before in the ocean open water, so I'm actually a little bit nervous and I know that everyone's first open water doesn't go well. But guys, let me tell you, I've got a triathlon in two weeks time. So this girl needs to learn to swim in open water. Um, so we'll see how we get on today, but I'm gonna get in another open water swim tomorrow. Um, hopefully like tomorrow evening after Danny's high rocks. Um, but yeah, exciting. And it's nice weather. I'm so lucky to be doing it in a place that's warm because Fuck getting in the ocean in England. Absolutely fuck that. You're lucky getting me in the Thames for an open water swim. So yeah, look how nice Danny looks today. Look at you. Look at me. <laughs> oh, it's thick as well. Guys, you won't believe it. I absolutely forgot. I'm gonna try to swim. Yeah. Guys, I forgot my. Um... We go down this way. It's quite posh, Danny. Do you think I just not bother? Yeah, I think no. I think you've probably got to order drinks and stuff. Oh, Guys, you won't believe it. I forgot my swim hat, so I just had to go <laughs> and buy a swim hat from the shop, the corner shop, and it said youth on it. So is it going to fit my bed, my head? Who knows? But we're at the beach now, so let's go for a swim. Yeah, guys, we're at the beach. I've just got my wetsuit on, actually. I've got the bottom half on, but I just need to put the top half on. But then we're going to go for a dip. Danny's blown up my boy. Yeah, boy. Um, so we're gonna go in the ocean. Yeah, and once I've done my swim, I'll come and report how it's going, and then I'm gonna take you into the water. So I'm gonna go, and then um, yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, guys. We're 710 meters into my swim. I think I'm gonna do about 1K. So we've got 300 meters left. Um, I'm gonna give you a full rundown when I get out. Um, but I'm gonna go and finish it off. I'm getting really bad chafing on my neck in this um, wetsuit. I really should have put, I know I don't have any anti-chafe cream with me, or Vaseline, so I'm gonna put anything on. Anyway, I'm gonna go finish it off and I'll see you guys soon. Hello guys, we've left the beach. We've left the beach. So guys, I, I was planning of like getting back in the water with the camera. Um, however, the beach was so rocky, wasn't it? Rocky. That like every time I got out, it was like a workout in itself to get out the out the pool. So I didn't get out the pool for my camera. Um, sorry guys, but I will have inserted footage already of um, me swimming, <laughs> me swimming in the water. 
I did a K. I did one K and I think that's bloody, oh quick Danny, quick. I think that's bloody great for my first open water swim. I think that was so good. Um, you smashed it? Yeah. You actually were really good. Danny said that looked quite good, like I actually impressed Danny. I impressed you, didn't you? Yeah. Did you just say, oh he's that fit girl in the water? Like that. No, I said it was that weirdo with a swimming cap on and the boy. And the boy. I wasn't even going out, it's so funny, I took a boy with me and I wasn't even like going out far. People are probably thinking, what's she doing? She could probably still touch the floor. I could still see the floor. So anyway, it was good. Some cons to it, let me just tell you what I learned on that swim. Number one, the salt water is salty. It is ridiculous, you get so much water in your mouth, especially when the waves are like coming and hitting you in the face. Number two, you actually go further for like less effort and I don't know whether that was uh, the wetsuit or whatever but to be fair like it actually felt really easy doing a K which I'm happy with. Um, number three, what else did I learn on that swim? You're going to make eye contact with fishes, you're going to make eye contact with animals in the sea, that is scary, that is so scary which I'm kind of glad why my first open water swim was in the ocean because like my Iron Man's in the ocean, so I kind of just need to get used to it straight away, you know? So anyway, that was number three. Number four, the waves are hard to get through sometimes. So hard to get through. They're smacking you in the face, so you can't boo, boo, water going in the face. And also there's a point when I wasn't moving, wasn't there, Danny? Mm -hmm. There was a point when Danny was like, oh, I actually got a little bit worried because you were like swimming, you were putting in loads of effort, but you weren't moving. I was like, oh, I actually felt that, to be fair. Yeah. I did feel that during like the water. Swimming against resistance, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because sometimes it'll be like, in different places, there's like different types of waves and like currents and stuff. Um, but overall, I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. And like, when I needed to stop and have a little bit of a breather, not a breather as such like, oh, I'm knackered, but like, get my bearings and see if I can still see Danny. I just like stopped my watch and like, just bounced and looked around and then just carried on swimming. So yeah, overall, a success. We're heading back to the hotel now. We're gonna get some lunch uh, because it's half two and then we're gonna go back for the opening ceremony at the Harrods World Championships. Woohoo! Daddy's in, woo! We have just found this um, lunch place. Everywhere was shut, wasn't it, Danny? I've ever shut in at three, but police are like shut already. Yeah, I don't get um, So the place he actually wanted to go to for lunch today was already shut, so. But we found this nice place where the man was actually really nice, wasn't he? Yeah, he's literally put, like made everything. Yeah, he's put together a nice salad for us. I've got the Caesar salad and Danny's got a pasta Caesar salad. Um, but we also got this big cookie crumble cake, oh God, cake to share, which looks insane. And it's so hard to resist not eating it. So whilst it's sat here waiting for me, but we're waiting for our salads. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna get some lunch and then we're gonna head back to the hotel, freshen up and then head out, which will be fun. So yeah. We'll see you soon. Wow, look how good that looks. And Danny got the same as well, but you got some pasta in yours, didn't you? Yeah, buddy. Yum, 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 yum. Um, but yeah, let's tuck into our salads. And he brought us wow. some bread, I think. Yeah, he did. Delicious. Delicious? Mm. Delicious. So delicious. <laughs> Good evening guys, we're on our way out of High Rocks uh, World Champs, no, Elite 15 race, mm -hmm. just finished, it's half nine, haven't had any dinner yet guys, we need to go find some place for dinner, uh, we're going to go get some sushi, which way is it? Down there. Okay, we're going to go find a sushi place, it says it's open till half ten, so fingers crossed for us guys, because if we turn up and it's not open, it's going to be a long old night, an Uber Eats job, so let's go and see. Let's go and see. I'm hungry. Guys, an update. You know, just giving them an update. The place was open. Was it? Woo! It's open. We've just ordered our dinner. Um, I don't actually know what I ordered. I couldn't quite understand what it was, but I saw the word shrimps. So I decided to go with that. Shrimps and vegetables. So we're going to get there. I'm a hungry girl. 9.48. 
9.48 in the evening. I don't know how good this lighting is, but it's not looking good. But anyway, we're back home, we're in bed, and me and Danny always have to finish on something sweet. So we've got a little box of cereal to finish on something sweet. Mm -mm. My hands are so orange with my fake tan, but I'm going to end the vlog here. Thanks for watching. My day in the life of training for an Ironman in East. In, in East. In East. East. In East. East. In East. Love ya. Love ya. Selling fan, blowing cold breeze on your body. I can't tell you really what it is, but you got it. Make up in the morning, you got dresses in your closet. But you grab them tight, you in love with me.